Hey guys, Megan Lynn here. How is everybody? Spiritual OG in the house. <laughs> How are my spiritual beasts right now? Um, so, I'm sorry, I'm like really, really tired. I spent hours in the mountains today, so if any of you know, I'm like a huge hiker, so um, I basically got worked the fuck up today <laughs> on the mountains. So, sorry, my face is all like blotchy because I don't have makeup on because I got like major sun today, but yeah, um, how is everybody? I want to do a video, so shout out to M. Torres, I'm assuming it's Mike or Michael Torres. Um, who wanted me to do a video on Aquarius. Aquarius and why people assume we're cheaters or liars or, um, it's actually really freaking funny and it makes me want to beat my head against the wall. The amount of people that just are so suspicious of Aquarius because we're so goddamn honest. So, um, so I guess I'll just go into a couple of traits of why people may think that Aquarius are cheaters or liars or um, that we're very secretive. Uh, it's actually the exact opposite of that. Um, yeah, some Aquariuses can be very um, deceptive and things like that, but I'm not talking about the low-level people. So um, yeah, so Aquarius, so we have this tendency, and this is probably the number one way that we... Um, we, well, for one, we attract jealous partners um, because they're very attracted to maybe... Um, Aquarius has a sort of like presence about them that's very independent, um, appears very confident um, because we are so independent. But we do have a trait that kind of gets us into trouble and that is that we have this part of us that needs to have anonymity, which is um, basically we have to be our own person. So Aquarius does what they want to do whenever the fuck they want to do it. If anybody wants to partake, cool. If they don't, cool. So, um, I feel like Aquarius runs into a lot of problems with partners with that. Um, when they straight up maybe like bail on people or they cancel plans or, um, a lot of people think Aquarius is very flaky. Um, I can say 50% yes, 50% no. We're not really flaky people, but Aquarius, like I said, moves in the moment. So, it's 100% Aquarius doing what they want when they want. And I can say with my friends and with growing up, um, people get so pissed off at me because maybe my entire group of friends wanted to go to the movies and I wanted to go to the movies too. But maybe they all wanted to see this one movie and I didn't want to see that movie. So for me, I'd just be like, okay, cool. You guys go do that. Uh, I'm not coming. I'm going to go see this movie. And they'd get like really mad at me. No, Megan why aren't you coming this side or the other? And I'm like, cause I flat out don't want to watch that movie. Um, so this can tend to get a lot of people jealous because what happens with Aquarius is like they break a lot of plans with people because they don't feel like doing what everybody else wants to do. And then maybe the other party assumes if it's like in a relationship that you're not that interested in them or, um, Maybe you're breaking plans with them to see other people. Um, no, it's not fucking like that. <laughs> like, we're honestly just doing what we feel like doing. Um, I can say some Aquariuses can play games to kind of, like, test people. But for the most part, no. They just do what they want to do in the moment. So, as far as, let me see, other traits that um, would make us appear as cheaters. Um, we have a lot of friends. And I don't say that as in... Um, Aquarius is very social and bubbly and we know people, but when I say that we have a lot of friends, we'll literally like make friends with anybody or we can talk to anybody. But the thing with Aquarius is not that we're just being sociable and bubbly and we're talking to people. It's literally that we have the ability to talk to everybody on the same level. This can get people incredibly jealous. <laughs> like I can talk to you the same as I would talk to the president or a cashier at Walmart, or, you know, some server at McDonald's, or my best friend, I'm going to treat you exactly the same. So, um, I think that that's the problem, is that, um, we basically are humanitarians, we basically love the world, so we treat everybody, um, we treat everybody the same equally, um, and that can actually confuse a lot of partners. If you guys are, um, 
you know, dating somebody who's just really confused by this. We basically love the world, but um, because we love the world, we love everybody. So we can talk to our partner the same as we talk to a stranger. That really honestly can tick partners off. <laughs> um, so another one, we're on our phones a lot. Um, I can say my love language is quality time. So when I'm with somebody, I purposely like disconnect on the phone but we're always on our phone um and whether that's on Facebook or social media any kind of social media um like I said we're always chit-chatting we have inside jokes with coworkers, things like that um that can get partners extremely jealous as well um because they you know obviously attention is taken away but um even so I feel like um they're they honestly get very intimidated by the fact that we would have like inside jokes with other people or, um, little connections with other people, um, that they may self may have, but not to the, um, not to the expanse that we do, um, because we are so, um, we honestly have such a huge network of people that we communicate with. So I can say that that would make them jealous too, or think that we're cheating. What's another one? I don't know, like, I've dated a lot of, like, honestly, all my people that I've dated have been really, really jealous. Um, I can say our habits do, um, also, Aquarius can just tool around. Aquarius doesn't care to have plans. They're fine doing whatever they want to on their own, so they're fine just, I'm fine tooling around for eight hours by myself in the city. You can drop me in the heart of Phoenix, say bye, Megan give me some money and I'm fine just being my being by myself um shopping by myself they will not believe that you just um you just up and went and did whatever like I'll go into random stores I haven't been into before I'll go into you know go have some coffee then I'll go you know to an astrology store then I'll go to a hardware store like I can tool around forever and the problem with Aquarius is because they're so curious about everything is they honestly have this ability to like disappear um so when you disappear for eight hours nobody believes that you just say you tool around nobody believes it nobody believes that you just basically did nothing which honestly the everything is in the nothing for an Aquarius because an Aquarius learns so much by doing all this like useless shit, <laughs> like going and going into random shops and going down streets I haven't before and things like that. So that's how Aquarius learns so much. But it honestly, really, um, other people don't understand it because they don't understand how the inquisitive mind works, I guess. But, um, also they don't understand how Aquarius can just like go and just, you know, drop off the face of the universe and come back in eight hours, which is honestly what Aquarius is best at doing is going into outer space and then coming back home. Um, another thing that would make people jealous. Oh, I had a really good one in my head before I went off on that tangent. Um, a really good one for Aquarius. What was another one? Oh, forgetfulness. This can make people assume that Aquarius is cheating, is that when Aquarius tells you what they did for the day, um, it will be basically the highlights of the day. So, like I said, if you drop me off in the city for eight hours, I'm going to tell you, yeah, then I went here, then I went here, then I went here. Um, what I find with a lot of people, especially that I've dated and, like, from my, like, friends' experiences, is that, like, we just forget shit. Like, if it's not relevant, we fucking forget it. Like, it's not important. So, it's very funny because then you get a lot of um, jealous partners who are like, you know, and it always comes out. Because I feel like Aquarius is super, super honest all the time. I'm always honest to a fault. And that truth will always come out or that um, little fact will come out later and it's not that we were hiding it it's honestly because we didn't feel that it was relevant in the moment or we already have so much shit going on in our head that like we didn't care to mention it in the moment but I can say like my experience is that Aquarius is just fucking forgetful like we're and it's not even that we're forgetful we just have so much going on so maybe you just told your partner that you you know did a b c today and then you failed to mention that you in between B and C, you stopped at the gas station, or in between C and D that you, you know, 
stopped and got toilet paper. They're going to, uh, like, obviously that's going to come out later because Aquarius is just like that. Like, eventually something will come relevant to where that's mentioned and your partner will get insanely suspicious of you. Oh, you didn't tell me that you stopped at the gas station. And I'm using these examples because they're, like, legit fucking examples <laughs> of things that have happened to me. Um... Where, like, I didn't tell him that I stopped at the gas station. When literally, I stopped at the gas station for five freaking seconds and put some gas in my car and then continued on my way home. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, really? Oh, okay, so I was I was cheating on you, you know, the 10, 10 15 seconds I stopped at the gas station. Like, so um, with Aquarius, we are so honest to a fault and that also gets us in trouble. Um, we don't... We don't beat around the bush. We don't hide shit. Um, if we're not telling you something, it's because we either A, forgot, or, like, B, it wasn't, like, relevant. Um, but it always usually, like, comes out, and that makes, like, partners, like, insanely jealous. Um, I, like, I honestly, I, I really don't get it. Um, you know, people think, and, and again, like, there's low levels in all signs, but it's just so funny, because, like, me and my friends were talking about this, and we're just, like, it's, it's fucking ridiculous, like, honestly, you guys, like, Aquarius is loyal to a fault, yes, they have certain things about them that are not, um, that are not becoming, but I can say, like, if an Aquarius likes you, they like you, um, especially if they decide to commit to you, I wouldn't worry about it. Um, but yeah, those are just kind of like some traits, you know, of Aquarius is that, you know, people get very suspicious of, like, it's honestly very funny to me and it makes me want to like shoot myself in the head because it's just so funny. Cause we're honestly, the reason why people are so suspicious of us is because, we're not like anybody else. We don't operate the way that other people do in relationships necessarily or um, or at least initially. Or, um, you know, we do, you know, go to the beat of our own drum. So, like, when we're not acting like everybody else does in the beginning of a relationship, that's what turns everybody off. That's what confuses people. Um, just know that it's just the Aquarian way. It doesn't mean that we're unfaithful or to be suspicious of us. So... Yeah, anyway, I haven't done an Aquarius video in a little bit. Um, yeah, and I'm sorry for not posting. I plan to. I just, like, had a bunch of shit going on this week. Um, I have my favorite uncle coming into town. So, um, yeah, you guys, thank you so much for the subscribers and all the love and all the comments. Um, I'll be pushing out more videos. Um, I've just had so much going on. I got a promotion this week, so it's, like, been, like, a really big week for me, um, and like I said, I'm, like, super puffy and tired right now, but, um, I love you guys. Thank you so much for the support. Please comment, like, share if you want to hear about more specific things, or if you want me to go into detail. This is, like, just, like, a little rant about Aquarius and, um, you know, why people, why people think we're liars and cheaters and the like, so <laughs> it's all bullshit, boo-boo, <laughs> but yeah, I love you guys, and we'll talk soon. Bye!